Kansas City might be known for its famous ribs, and Invicta FC 26 might be known for its body shots and rib roasters. It, it really had it all. TJ DeSantis, Julie Kedzie. We close out the year for the worldwide leader in women's mixed martial arts tonight back in our old stomping grounds in Kansas City. And the athletes of Invicta FC 26 brought it. Oh, they certainly did, TJ. You know, I think that uh, some people asked Santa for some arm bars for Christmas and got them early because, wow, what a lot of finishes we had tonight. Yeah, it started in the strawweight division. Two newcomers made their Invicta FC debuts as Emily Prince from Knoxville, Tennessee, took on Kay Hansen. Kay Hansen was a go-getter. She went and got it. She went and got it. She set the tone for the night. You know, beautiful clench work, wrestled her opponent down to the ground, mounted her like butter, and then just went for that arm bar. Emily Prince trying to hang out as tough as she could, but it was Kay Hansen that stuck with it and got the tap in the first round. She is now 1-0 as a pro. In our second fight of the evening, Katrina Rodriguez made a really tough, valiant effort against Christine Ferreira. It was boxing versus Muay Thai, but Rodriguez showed that she has a lot more than his boxing skill inside the case. She did. You know, she has really come so far. This is only her second appearance with Invicta FC. When she moved to Team Lobo, she really impressed upon that that skill they impressed upon her that skill level that dirty boxing that head movement and keeping people at the end of her punches and really what a beautiful fight against her karina rodriguez makes it two for two inside the invicta fc cage here tonight with a win over christine Ferran. tessa simpson returned to the invicta fc cage to take on former adamway title challenger amber brown and it was the bully that looked like the vintage bully it really was um grabbing the leg, wrestling to the ground. Tessa had a beautiful sweep over the top, but Amber Brown was able to secure her legs up around the top, grab for that armbar, and just rip it out, dislocating the elbow, if I'm not mistaken. She had to pop it back in right there. A much-needed win for Albuquerque's Amber Brown. She's back in a big way inside Invicta Fighting Championships. Then it was Verna Jandiroba who went through everything one could go through to get to Kansas City. And when she finally got here, she introduced herself in a big way. She did, and um, she didn't do it actually putting that much damage on her opponent except for that beautiful armbar. Taking her to the ground, I mean, we saw Amy Pletchenegro getting slapped beforehand to get her all warmed up, but then you just see this beautiful passing hip read and arm bar that just slid right through some ground and pound just enough to soften up her opponent but then really ripping amy montenegro's arm right off with that arm bar at the end again what a tone for arm bars tonight now 12 and 0 is the brazilian verna jandy roba and she looks to be a factor in this invicta fc straw weight division Flyweights took center stage as Milana Dudaeva was back inside Invicta FC's cage. She took on Vanessa Porto, and it was Dudaeva early, looking like she was going to get a stoppage. Oh, it was a brilliant takedown to a back mount, and she rode out the back mount just hitting huge shots to the former champion, like just absolutely rocking those ears. It was really terrifying to see for a second. We thought it was going to stop the fight, but then Vanessa Porto showing her medal, coming back, injuring the body of her opponent, hitting those right hands over the top. Um, she unfortunately hit the eye at one point, uh, but, uh, but they both recovered, came back, and then Vanessa Porto went on to win the fight with body shots, which was really fun to watch. Rib Roston was the Brazilian Vanessa Porto doing it big against Milana Dudaeva. Vanessa Porto putting herself in line for maybe a potential fight as she tries to propel herself up the rankings. Title eliminator, who knows, but Vanessa Porto getting it done. Brazilians battled as the newcomer Kimberly Novais met Janeza Moranjan. And this was more of the same from Janeza Moranjan. She came up short to former champion Livia Souza, but it was her boxing ability, her strikes, that really put it on her opponent. She did a wonderful job of this fight. And, you know, props to Novais for, for the offensive output that she did. But really, it was that cage work, that nose break, the elbows and the body shots over and over and over again that won dividends for um, Janeza Moranjan. Moranjan was able to show flashes of this type of brilliance against Livia Souza, but it was firmly her fight tonight, and she takes a beautiful victory back to Brazil with her in our final event of the year. Then it was our co-main event of the evening. The six-time World Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu champion, Mackenzie Dern, met a former title challenger at Kalini Medeiros, and it was Dern that was looking like a kickboxer. It was amazing. Her overhand rights were beautiful, TJ. She was really landing with power and precision on some of them. And what's amazing about her performance is we see how far she can still come with her striking. We realize that she has the instincts. She's getting the angles. When she gets her feet underneath her, she's going to do what she needs to do to get the fight to the ground, damage her opponent, and get the finish that she wanted, third round armbar. She did it with about 15 seconds left to spare. It looked like she was going to let Mc 
Kalini Medeiros, maybe not have the arm broken, but she did extend those hips, and uh, Kalini Medeiros had to tap. Mackenzie Dern, victorious, now 5-0 in her mixed martial arts journey. Then it was our main event, the number one ranked flyweight in the world, Jennifer Maya, back for the first time in 13 months to take on the 22-year-old Agnieszka Niedzvich. Aga wanted to cash in that blue chip for Invicta FC Gold, but it was Jennifer Maya that reminded everyone why she has that number one next to her name. Yeah, and props to Aga for a well-fought fight. She's only 22 years old. She's only got more velocity. She's only going to go farther, but really Jennifer Maya showed her medal, showed her championship colors, and once again established herself as number one in the world. Champions need to adjust, and Jennifer Maya has done that throughout her career. She is truly the best in the world at 125 pounds. She cements that status here tonight in Kansas City. If you missed any of the action, it was all part of Women's Week, and it's archived now on UFC Fight Pass. Uh, seriously, if you missed any of this fight or anything that we did here in 2017, it was one of the better years for this promotion in its five-plus year history. Invicta FC 27, right back at you January 13th, right here in Kansas City. It's a quick turnaround. We're going to, you know, maybe enjoy the holidays a little bit and then come right back here with more of the best action in women's mixed martial arts. Appreciate you joining us this year and look forward to next year. For Julie Kedzie, I'm TJ DeSantis. Happy holidays, and we'll see you back in Kansas City for Invicta FC 27.